Well, well, fucking well. What do we have here? Mind telling me why I found you on my turf, snooping around behind my place? <laughs> you might be wondering why the baseball bat. Well, let's just hope for your sake I don't have to use it. Oh, so you're gonna play innocent, huh? So you just happened to be walking around there when I caught you, huh? When something this important has gone down, this city could burn tonight, and you wouldn't fucking know a thing about that, would you? Hmm? Huh? Look at me. This ain't a joke. If you want to get out of here in one piece, you're gonna have to try harder. Why should I let you go, huh? You even know who I am? Katsuki Bakugo. Name probably means shit all to you. But it's gonna soon. Whether you like it or not. Hey, dumbass! Don't go shedding tears. That's not what this is about, you fucking dumbass! If I wanted to hurt you outright, I would have done it when you were sleeping. I would have blown you up sky high, like this damn city. No. You know why you're still in one piece? It's simple, dumbass. Because you haven't pissed me off yet. You got that? Huh? Huh? Yeah. You understand real quick. A lot better than the last trespassers. This is my club. Welcome. At least for the time that you're here. Not just gonna let you get out of that chair, but you can hear the music in the background. Hopefully it's not your favorite song. Cause I'd hate to do something that would scar you for life to your favorite music. That's cruel even for me, dumbass. So fess up. Who you work for? What are you doing here tonight? Of all fucking nights. <laughs> you just expect me to believe that. Well, for your sake, let's say I fucking do. What then? So you were just there, randomly. And I'm supposed to take all this with nothing but your word to back it? <laughs> You'll call someone. Yeah, that's gonna do you a fat lot of good. Just so someone else can lie for you? Is that it? You better fess up right now and tell the fucking truth. Who are you working for, huh? I'm still asking nicely. Don't test my patience. Hey. Snarky little brat. You really think I'm gonna give you that leeway? <laughs> And you got the guts to accuse me while you're at it. Me abusing my power. Do you have any idea what's riding on tonight? <laughs> that lie was almost believable, dumbass. <laughs> well, I guess there's no shame in letting you explain yourself further. But if I think you're lying, even once, you'll wish you hadn't. <laughs> Now spit it out. No. Mm. Well, if I'm to believe you, I suppose your alibi makes a little sense. You were there chasing after your friend. Your friend disappeared behind the club. So if I'm supposed to be sus of anyone, it's them. <laughs> they set you up. Is that what I'm to believe? <laughs> And just why would I, huh? What reason do I have to believe any of these words, huh? The words that mysterious friend. Convenient that your story lets them escape just like that. How do I know you're not in cahoots? How do I know you're not just wasting my time? Huh? Huh? Why don't you speak up? I, I'm still patient with you. Tell me everything. Now. Well, 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 boss. 
Don't you think you're being a little too rough, even for you? Don't put in. And if I didn't, we'd have another disposal issue, wouldn't we? <laughs> As for you, you got the short end of the stick, huh? Well, here's hoping you make it through the night without a bruise on your body. Take care. And boss, don't make me have to do more work. <laughs> yeah, proud motherfucker. I need someone who works here. Works under me. Problem with that? <laughs> Didn't think so. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with you now? Why the hell do you look like that? No, dumbass. I wasn't talking about your looks, it's your expression. Why the hell do you look at me like that? It's like you've seen me before, but can't quite remember who I am. Trying to figure out place where I'm from? Don't even bother. We've never met. No fucking way we have. I could tell with one glance, you haven't been in the life that I have. Never had to stare down a barrel like that, did you? Never had to have a knife where you didn't want it. <laughs> or so you say. Hmm. You want to get untied that badly, dumbass? Then earn it. Give me one good damn reason. Why I should waste my time and effort freeing you right now when I don't even know if I can trust you. Hmm? Give me a damn reason. Now. Now. <laughs> Did you just kick me in the damn shins? And look, you look hurt and angry. Why is that? What, you're not gonna say that I forgot about you and you didn't quite forget about me when you had that look from before, dumbass. Don't go taking a high seat with me. You're in my care, in my fucking club. If you do anything out of line, you're done, dumbass. Look at me. Yeah? I said, look at me. Yeah? Do I look like a nice guy to you? Look me right in the eye and be careful what words you pick. I'm not too keen on nice guys, and I don't want to be one. <laughs> oh, so that's it. Rebellious to the bitter end. You know what I could do right here and now. With you tied up in that chair, I could toss you down this... <sniffs> yeah. I like your guts, you know that? That's interesting. Someone standing up to me. Haven't had that in a long time. No either. You're used to standing up to people much stronger and... More handsome than you. Or you're just used to being an insufferable frickin' brat. Yeah? Which one is it, huh? When I bend this chair over, when I get real close, what does it mean, huh? <laughs> you know, your body's not bad. I could really go for something like you. <laughs> What do you say? I free you and you. 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 So maybe I deserved it a little. But you didn't have to kick there, dumbass. You're lucky I'm trying to deal with so much pain. But I won't forget that. Fighting the hand that feeds. And I was offering you an easy way out. You think you're any different from anyone else? Pulled from these frickin' streets, huh? You think you're any better than me? You got those eyes like you think you are. Mm -hmm. I've got no respect. So what do you got, huh? Huh? What do you got? Other than all that pride, huh? Other than all that pride. Respect and dignity. 
What, you thought I was going to do something crazy? Just because I was offering. I don't take what people don't offer. Unless I need to. And then obviously I don't need shit right now. So, you clearly misunderstood something. Unless, of course, the whole reason you're looking at me like that, with that slight tinge of fear, that excitement, it almost seems like your lips are trembling out of something other than fear. Huh? You gonna deny it? Or fess up to the truth of this? What do you think? You are the cutest person I've seen come through these doors, albeit in the weirdest damn way. Fine. I won't tell you for now, but I'm not letting go of this bat. Make any sudden moves, I'll either blow you up or knock out those knees. Are we clear? You sit in that chair and don't move. This is an interrogation. I didn't think I'd have to make a return visit, but this is pathetic even for you, boss. The hell did I say about barging in here? Just because there's no door doesn't mean you can go to the VIP section as you want. Damn dumbass. Here I was thinking of some kind of lover's quarrel, but you don't actually know who they are, do you? Don't recognize them? The hell are you talking about? I've never seen them in my life. You sure about that? Seems awfully like they've met you before. No shit. Well, get out of here. I'll figure it out on my own. Whatever you say, boss. Just do me a favor and don't go embarrassing us. We have a reputation to upkeep and all that. Shut it! Just get lost out of here. Hmm. So, you do know me. Just, why the hell... Can I remember you? You look familiar the more I think about it. Fuss up. How do we know each other? Oi. No freaking way. Hey. Answer me. From back when? Where did you... Where did you go to high? You... You went to UA too? Damn it. You, you wouldn't happen to be. <clears throat> so we did. Damn it. We used to date back then. I... <clears throat> I'm not apologizing, dumbass. I'm just acknowledging that I might have gone too far. There's a lot to it. And you are the more suspicious one. So shut up and accept this. It's the facts that are. So... <sighs> Got a problem with that? Huh? Didn't damn think so. <sighs> How'd you even end up here? You forgot me too, huh? Yes, because things ended on such a sour note. You probably want an explanation, don't you? I'm only giving this to you to pass time. Got it? This isn't because I care, dumbass. What's done is done. Why would I care about what happened three years ago, huh? Huh? I... I left that one day. I did. It wasn't your fault. I know what you're thinking. I dropped out then because... I wasn't really ready for the hero life. I thought I'd make it big, and I probably would have. But I had to do things differently. Because a buddy of mine, and I'm talking a real pal, ran into a life or death situation. It was... I didn't want to get you involved. And look at this! A dumbass wanders on my doorstep after three freaking years. How am I even going to do this, huh? Huh? You don't even know what you've done. You don't even know why I almost murked you. You don't even know how much danger you're getting yourself in just by talking to me. I should kick you out right now, not say another word. But not even I'm that heartless dumbass. 
What? Surprised? Well, don't be. This was a long time coming, dumbass. And... You're probably in too deep already, knowing what kind of fucking friends you got. No, really. You've been a dumbass all along. What? Patting your head like I used to. I'm not sad. If anything, you look kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, I was getting to that. You want an explanation? Why up and disappeared? Never contacted you again, right? Shut it, nerd. I know how bad it probably made you feel. Unwanted, unloved after we were together for six. Six damn years. I meant every freaking word I said. Back then when we were dating, it was never your fault. That, that letter... I hope it at least made some sense, though, knowing me. Probably didn't make any at all. Damn it. Hey, don't look at me that way. Yeah, I told you earlier to look at me, but no. Shit. Look. Do you think I did all that because I wanted to? Do you think I wanted to hurt you? No. God, no. I wouldn't want to do that, dumbass. It hurts. Damn, hurt more than anything to leave. But if I let things go as they were, not only would you be in danger, but I would have to watch my friend disappear from this world in the worst damn way. They would have sent him in pieces. Don't you get it, dumbass? They weren't satisfied till they took everything good in my life. Then I got revenge. I did not let them have the last laugh. I rose from the freaking ashes. And I burned them all. I blew off every single one of their support beams until they were groveling and mercilessly on the ground, begging for me to end them. And I did. I didn't stoop to their level. But I lost something. I lost you, and I never was able to go back, and by the time I was able to have the freedom to face you, I didn't have the heart to. After all, I'm that deadbeat boyfriend who said he would never leave you, who promised on his life that he would be the one that's your right and die, the one who protects you, makes a difference, and then I forgot your fucking face. I know you forgot mine, but that's to be expected. How fucking idiotic. How pathetic. I agree with my subordinate. I... I'm an embarrassment. For all that revenge. I never got what I really wanted, and that was you. But I couldn't bring you back. One thing escalated to the next. And now the city's tilting on a seesaw. One little feather away from the whole thing crashing down. And you, I was so suspicious, so stressed about that. I thought you were nothing more than another spy trying to take everything away from me. I still don't have shit. But, but it had to be you, didn't it? Making things so complicated even now, you damn nerd. You never freaking learned, do you? Never. Dumbass to the bitter end. And for what? What do you think I did all this for? And I'm just too ashamed. I can't look you in the eyes right now. Don't ask me to look at you. Not because you're not every bit as gorgeous as them, but because you are. How could I dare to spend time with you when I couldn't even apologize? My pride getting in the way of the only thing that ever made me smile in this fucking world. I failed you. And that's the truth. I let you down. I, I ruined us. And I left as shameless as a deadbeat dad. I... I hate that because... 
last thing I want to do is be anything like those damn stupid assholes. I want to be someone who could face you properly, but I never could be. With the blood on my hands, the stains all over my body, and the scars that still hurt to this day. I got dragged out of my life because I got involved in things. I made mistakes that I couldn't undo. And the only thing I could do was follow those stupid orders. Blackmailed by those sons of bitches. Babe, I don't have a right to freaking call you that. I don't. But I missed it. There wasn't a day that went by that this hardened boss of what seems like half the city now didn't miss you. I locked my heart away because if I ever put it on my sleeve again, I'd have to face all those things I did and what I wasn't to you. I was a lot of other things to a lot of other people and not one of them would want me anything good. I know. <laughs> None of it's fair. Nor do I expect you to believe me. I mean, hell, I didn't believe you. But what are the freaking chances that you don't appear? Fuck. This was the one thing I couldn't handle. Because... Because it's you, dumbass. Because... I missed you. I missed you so much. It hurts. But it doesn't hurt like normal, no. I'm used to getting wounded. I'm used to being bloody to a pulp. But that feels like nothing compared to this. Fuck. Maybe I erased you from my memory. Because I was too damn ashamed. <laughs> I was an idiot to the bitter freaking end. I hate that. I hate it to this day. You, you were that ghost of the life I always wanted to have. The life I had to throw away. The rock at the hard place. And I don't expect you to forgive me. Because I made the choice to give in to the blackmail because... I knew. I knew I wasn't strong enough and I wasn't. I was... Way too weak. Way too weak. If you want me to be honest, I'm still that weak. Still fucked in the head. I can't... I can't find a way out. And now that you're here, it just makes it more... more damn complicated. You... You gave him unlooking for me too, right? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you got over me. Because it sucks not getting over someone you have no right holding. Someone who you have no right being a part of their lives. That's the truth. I have no right to say or do anything to you. Babe. For old time's sake, will you listen to a selfish request? Walk out that door and don't turn back. I'm telling you, it's better this way. <laughs> what did I just say, you dumbass? Go! Leave! Leave before you can't. Before anyone sees you like this with me. You'll be a target. You'll live your life in the underground. A shitty place where people die every day. Where there's always an X on your back and someone trying to take you out. I don't want that life for you. I never did. That's why I tried so hard to save you from it. I know it might seem like excuses. Please, please, dumbass, believe me. 
just this once and walk out the door and forget about me. Forget about me. What don't you understand? Forget about me, Thomas. Go. Just go. Go already. It's so, so fucking hard to say this. Go before, before I won't know how to say goodbye. Go, please. Please. Why are you still here? You dumbass, you never were good at taking an order. As stubborn as me. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I can't even protect myself. How am I going to protect you? Thomas, don't you get it? You damn nerd, you must get it. I'm a failure. I'm not someone you should spend your time with. And I'll put you in danger. They're gonna try and hurt you. They're gonna try and take you away. And of course I won't fucking let them. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna always be one step ahead. Your life will never be the same. Dumbass. Don't wipe my nose. This isn't the time for this. I never was meant to be like this. Why can't you just walk away? Why can't you just forget me? It'd be easier that way. So what if I miss you? So what if I harden my heart and prepare to live my whole fucking life without you? I know it wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't what I wanted either, but this, it's too... It's too dangerous to mess. Damn it. You're really not gonna go, are you? Don't make me have to get these fucking bodyguards on your ass. Don't make me have to scare you away. Go now. Go now before I have to force you to go. Go, idiot. You're such an idiot. Just like I remembered. If you forgot about me, then forget about me. Go find someone else to love. There's gotta be a million better guys than me. So stop right there and walk out the door. Stop clinging to me. You'll give me hope. Dumbass. You can't be giving me hope like this. You can't. You just can't. I can't get my hopes up again. I barely made it through these three years with the gird of my teeth and with a whole hell of a lot of trying everything I could. I can't drag you down to hell with me. I can't. I won't. Thomas. Idiot. Idiot. Why do you look at me with that smile? I thought you forgot about me. How I even forgot your face. Maybe, maybe I blocked it out because it was so, so beautiful. If I thought about it, I'd have another nightmare of losing you. <laughs> Kiss me, dumbass. If you do, I won't be able to let you walk away. I miss these kisses so fucking much. I missed you so damn much. I... I don't know what to do. You've stolen all my warnings and 
They're still here. Giving me hope that I could turn back time and do things right this time. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. won't let go, will you? I should knock you out with this bat right now. Put you somewhere safe and go someplace you can never follow. But your eyes tell me you'd follow somehow. That you'd find it in that damn stubborn freaking heart of yours. You damn nerd. You'd be back here again and again because... Even after you forgot about me, and I forgot about you, neither of us could move on, could we? I never... I couldn't see anyone else but you. I've had people make advances, and it just makes me feel sick. Because it just reminds me of you. It just reminds me of what we had, what I missed. I never wanted to cheapen what I knew love could be. So I was going to toss away my whole heart I tried to. I thought it was gone until today. And you just kept crawling back up. Uh, and now I'm gonna have to shoulder the burden of being that bastard that dragged you down so fucking Is that what you're asking me to do? <laughs> you... You think you can save me? Well... I'm not gonna lie to you. As, as things are going, I... I don't think I could... Ever do this alone. Fuck! Why did you have to come here? Why did you have to make me feel so happy? Why did it have to be you? Let me both... Damn it. What's that supposed to mean? That you're my dumbass. <laughs> How am I supposed to feel if they use you against me? I'll be my partner in crime, huh? <laughs> it just sounds so stupid, dumbass. But it makes me so happy not to be not to have to say goodbye again. <laughs> you dumbass. Dumbass nerd. Making me feel everything I thought I'd put away forever. Probably sound like a damn broken record, but I don't care. Because I never stopped loving you. Not even for a second. Not even when I made all the excuses in my head. Why I could never face you again. Why it was too dangerous. Why I didn't deserve it. Why you could do so much better than me. It's the last chance, dumbass. He should really run instead of squeezing me so tight. I had you in ropes a minute ago. I had a baseball bat up to your chin like I was gonna swing for the fences and... You still smiled at me. Was it because you knew early on you were just feigning it or... What was it, babe? What's wrong with me? Why can't things be easier, you know? I don't want to let go. And I don't want to do this without you. I don't think I could even if I wanted to. I was gonna do everything in my power. Fight till the bitter end and probably just disappear hoping that you'd forget. Maybe you would've. Eventually, but... <laughs>
giving me so much hope in life. But how can I? How can I be worth that? Damn nerd. I never stopped loving you and I can't help how much this means to me. But still, are you sure you're ready to go down to hell with me? It's been so long that I'm glad deep down that those six years weren't nothing to you. That you and I, even if we forgot, there was a part of us that clung to that, that love that we had, that never replaced it. I, I always wished somehow you were thinking of me, that we were looking at the same sky way up there. That it was more than just a wish. I didn't think it was true. Didn't want to get my hopes up, you know. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a damn mess in your arms. Probably got more snot on you than tears. Gross. I told you I'm a different man than that. You still want to follow me? Yeah, parts of me haven't changed, but I've had to harden up. Become what was necessary to survive, so babe, I'm just warning you. I'm not the hero you knew anymore. And I, I may never be again, but if you'll stay by my side, even down in the pits, I promise I'll give you my whole heart. Because you've always had it, dumbass. You've always had it. There hasn't been a single day that I forgot about our love. I forgot about you that... At least until I blanked you out. So I guess I don't get to say those kinds of pretty words. Because I'm just as guilty, but I guess we're both guilty, right? We both didn't recognize each other. Maybe we didn't really forget. I'd like to think of it that way. God, I have so much to say, but no words are coming out. Guess that's how it is when you have this kind of tragic love that would put love stories to shame, right? Damn. I'm glad we met back up here. I'm glad, if only because I get to see you get to feel you. I get to make you feel maybe a little bit happy and protect you like I always wanted to. It's just... Now I'm worried. And when I'm worried, I go so far. Because I ain't watching you get taken from me a second time. Yeah, I know you can stand up to yourself, but... You ain't seen these fuckers I'm dealing with. Uh, I'm not saying you're not tough, but this world is different than the one of UA and heroes and high school and all that. The silver lining ends here. And, well, maybe not quite yet. I'm glad, but you're still a dumbass. Making me so happy. Making me feel. You know, I'm known as a cold hearted. Never mind. You don't want to hear about that right now, do you? What? Well, where have you been? <laughs> you don't say. God, I love hearing your voice. I love feeling you against me like we used to. That warmth. It's been so cold. It was never warm since. God, I missed you. I missed you so much, baby. I missed you so much. 
I just want you to know this, this and everything I, I do. I want to make you safe and loved and, and know that, well, I'm trying to be that man of your dreams, but don't be surprised if I got a few more scars or blood on my hands, baby. I told you. I'm a leader of something now. I know you heard earlier, but I guess you could say I'm the boss of something that I made out of necessity. And that twisted revenge of those people that took everything. That friend. Everything went wrong. And right now, right now, I, I just... I didn't think I'd be able to feel again, so it feels so strange feeling again. So, bear with me, won't you? And just for a moment at least, let me savor this dumbass who doesn't know when to quit, when to run away. Ran straight headlong into danger, embraced danger, and gave a kiss to danger too. So, <laughs> Just returning that favor. You gave me that damn hope, so you better take responsibility for it, dumbass. Because I don't want to go back now that I feel again. But something tells me somehow we might just be able to do something about it, you know? Maybe. Just maybe we can. I love you so much. So much. That's my teddy bear. That's my teddy bear. That's the teddy bear I fell in love with. My sweetheart forever. I'm so glad I get to experience this again. Share a moment with you. I love you so much. And I know I have no right to say that yet. But I want to be able to mean it and believe myself too. And of course, make you feel special. So, just be ready, babe. Might be a bit of a bumpy road for us, but I'll do better. I'll be a monster if I have to, in order to protect you and make you mine. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oh, oh, I mean, you get what I mean. If you're going to help me in this, then help me. Dumbass. It's teamwork, then. Fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Just don't expect it to be easy, okay? Fair warning. I know it might be tough, but... I'm glad I get to hold you. I'm glad I get to be the one to be with you and make up for lost time. Sometimes you gotta wipe away those tears and place them with a smile, right? <laughs> I would have never cried in front of anyone. <laughs> but I guess that record's been broke, huh? Hey, baby. Do you mind if I kissed you again? <laughs> Dumbass, it was too abrupt. I wasn't mentally prepared. I, um, I'm thankful, really thankful that, <laughs> that I have you here right now. I, I'm glad, even if I'm nervous. Kiss. 
this feels so wonderful with you. Feelings is true and to the heart as it can be. Passionate love and otherwise, you know. Your lips are so soft, you know. That. Your body has the nicest way to it. So when I hold you, it feels just right, you know. Not to this or that. Just perfect fit for my arms. I love you. I love this. Let's get to know each other again, shall we? You're so damn cute. You make me happy. And you better understand, Thomas. Just because you're my sweetheart, things might not be the easiest, you know. I don't want to believe in those words, but we'll see when we get there, right? I said I had any distractions from right now. But I couldn't stand that bad. I want everything. I just want to feel you. I don't care how. I don't care about anything but this feeling right now. <laughs> Selfishly or not, I, I love you so much. And God, it feels so hypocritical to say that when I, I forced myself to do all this because of, yeah, no, I, I get it. Blackmail isn't my fault, but that I still, I, you know, I don't want to mess up this time. I want to make sure. This time is filled with love, filled with happiness, and of course filled with something more than lust. Because, if anything, I can't ever do this without you. I just want to feel you. I just want to know you're here, that you're real, that this isn't a dream that I'm going to wake up from, you know? Just love you so much, dumbass. Such a nerd, too. <laughs> nerd that makes me smile, don't <laughs> Nerd, I wouldn't trade for anything. <laughs> Stay just like that, why don't you? Don't move a muscle, baby. Don't move a muscle. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? <laughs> Am I making you feel something? I sure hope so. <laughs> You're so cute like this. And I just want to be... The man that I always wanted to be for you. Second chances don't come a lot, you know. So I'm gonna make the most of it. <laughs> so cute. So damn cute. <laughs> I love you so much, babe. Even if you're way too far sometimes, dumbass. You're still mine, and I'm still yours. Feel so safe, babe. 
So consider this my revenge against all those times you made me feel like this. My slight revenge, but it's only beginning. Because I gotta make up for lost time, you know. A million more kisses would do. But then again, I don't think kisses are enough. I wish there was a way to express my love for you more than kisses, more than holding you, more than everything. You deserve it all. Every last bit of it. I love you so much. I'm sorry if I get unreasonable, but I always want more.